use my trucking money. I'm back tight. Baddie activating in three, two. What made you want to go to the Air Force? Hey, what's up, y'all? So we got a little mini vlog. Today is Friday. I have so much to do, y'all. So um, first things first, I'm about to go to the mall. I went to the mall yesterday to get me an outfit for this weekend. Um, so I'm going to show y'all that when I get back. So it's going to be like a little, uh, a little mini haul. I'm going to show y'all what I got from the mall yesterday. I got a black little, it's a cute black dress. It fit me like a glove. It's a leather dress. Um, and I already had the shoes. So I'm on my way back to the mall to get me a dress to um, go out with my friend. So I am meeting up with her for dinner tomorrow. Well, kind of like brunch because the place closes at like 6 p.m. So we're going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to ask her some questions about the Navy. So if y'all are interested, if anybody on this live, if anybody that watched my vlog is interested in the Navy, I'm going to have questions. We're going to do a QA and a with her tomorrow. So I will be able to ask her some questions and then maybe y'all can get some insight on it. But yeah, I'm so excited. This weekend is going to be so fun. I am outside. I am outside. Okay. We is outside this weekend. So we're going to have a blast. I don't think I'm that vlogger that likes to record like every little thing that I do or like when I go to the mall and show every store I go into. So uh, I'm going to just do the haul and show y'all what I bought. I think I think that's more my style, you know, my my little thing. So also, you guys, um, King hurts his foot. He's like limping. Look at my baby. Look at him. Oh, God, y'all. I'm in my, I've been in my feelings a little bit because he's not acting like himself. He's like super sad. Oh, baby, we, we going to get it right. We going to get it right, baby. So um I am going to get him some um I'm going to I'm going to go to the store to get some um hopefully I can find some numbing cream at the store and um I'm going to get him a muzzle so he doesn't bite me. I'm going to pull the nail off myself. It's literally hanging. Let me see. Hey, paw. Yeah, let me see paw. Paw. Let me see paw. He doesn't want me to see it because it's like I don't know if you guys can see. The nail is literally hanging off. Oh god. So yeah, um, I'm going to get a muzzle so I can pull it off and hopefully he lets me, yeah, baby, it's okay. Hopefully he lets me pull it off. Well, of course the muzzle is going to be on so I can pull it off for him. He will um, be able to walk and he won't be limping. I feel so bad because he's not himself. He's pretty sad right now. I don't know how he did it. I don't know if he bit his nail or what. I don't know what he did. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty sad. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do it on the vlog because... Uh, I don't think I'm strong enough to do it by myself. I'm already sad that I got to do it. But I don't want to take him to the veterinary because all they're going to do is charge me $200 to pull the nail off, y'all. It's literally hanging off. All I got to do is just, I just need to do a quick snatch. So, yeah, I watched a YouTube video and everything. Y'all know I'm Dr. P. I do everything for my dog. I groom my own dog. I do everything myself. He only let me hold him like this because he's uh, not feeling too well. Look at him, just nothing but a little big old baby. But let me show y'all his fingernail, y'all. Okay, so see his fingernail? It's literally hanging off, y'all. It's hanging off. Hanging off. Oh, <clears throat> no bite, okay? No bite, bite. No bite, mommy, okay? Okay. He making me nervous. It's literally not that much, but... You can tell by his face. See, he making the teeth. He trying not to. He trying not to make the face look, y'all. But he like, girl. Okay. We gonna get it off. We gonna get it off, though, baby. Okay. Back from the mall. Um, I went to uh Forever Twenty One. I went to Bath and Body Works, and then I went to Foot Locker. So these are three bags you see. So I picked up some things, and then I want to show y'all the dress that I got yesterday. So this dress I was talking about, ooh, I had to put it on the hanger. But um, yeah, it's just a simple black dress. Y'all see the material is like a like a pleather material. I don't know leather because it ain't real leather, but yeah, it fit like a glove to my skin. I'm wearing these shoes with it. So yeah, ew, ew, ew. But yeah, so I got that. Do for the 21 first. <laughs> Forever 21 haul, guys. Yeah, here we go. I got this cute dress, y'all. It is so cute. So cute. And it goes literally with my skin tone. 
so it's gonna look way better tomorrow it's just a super simple long dress um it's a halter dress no shoulder uh, straps or anything like that so yeah this is what i'm wearing tomorrow as well during the day y'all um houston is so bipolar because it was literally like a cold drift of weather all last week which felt amazing but this week like towards the end of the week now it's in the 90s again so today is 93 degrees outside so yeah if you got a little if you got some like some uh winter or fall clothes from your um, hometown that you would want to wear in houston you just gotta catch it when it's when it come out because houston be up and down with the weather so i got these cute little earrings y'all cute little simple earrings you know i love gold Gold is my go-to color. Sometimes I put a little bit of silver on, silver jewelry sometimes, but you'll really catch me in silver. But these glasses, y'all, look at these glasses. Look at these glasses. Hold on, let me take them out so I can, so I can put them on for y'all. Y'all gotta see me in these. Y'all gotta see me in these. Hold up, hold up. Here we go. Do y'all see like the little, like the little, the little frames is giving fly. It's just get, giving these, like you got to put on that, that black outfit that I'm putting on. I just feel like they're going to go so perfect. These like, <laughs> let me stop y'all. But seriously though. Okay. Y'all feel the vibes? I felt the vibes. I felt the vibe from these glasses. I'm like, let me go ahead and just get them. Let me get them. Let me get them. Okay, so that's the little haul from uh, Forever 21. Yeah. Next, we have Foot Locker. I went to Foot Locker. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I wasn't really expecting to. I wasn't really expecting to pick no shoes up. But I seen these shoes that I've been wanting for so long, y'all. And let me tell y'all, Dunks are one of my favorite, favorite, favorite shoes, right? One of my favorite gym shoes. I love Air Maxes. I love Dunks. Those are my top two. Air Maxes and Dunks are my top two favorite. And then, of course, I love Vans, but those aren't gym shoes. Those are more so like what? Sneakers, you would say? I don't know. No, they're not sneakers. Vans or what? What is? Let me know in the comments, y'all. But y'all love Vans, too. Y'all, look at these dunks. Look at these dunks. I've been looking for the black and white ones for so long, and they they never have them in store. So I found them today. And um, I tried on a kid's size 7, but my foot was, like, literally right there, and I just didn't know if my feet was going to be hurting after a while, and I didn't want to do that. So I got them, um, I got them in a man's size, size 8. I don't like wearing um I don't like wearing women's sizes because I feel like my I wear a size nine, that's a standard uh shoe size for a woman. But I just feel like women gym shoes make my feet look big. So I always get my gym shoes in men's sizes. So yeah guys, I got these today and they are five. Hold on, let me put them on. Let me put them on. I gotta see them on my feet. They're so cute. Hold on, let me take my sock off. This how they this how they look. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. They're so cute. <sighs> okay, and last but not least, I went to Bath and Body Works. And I got me a candle. I got this candle. Strawberry Pound Cake. This is a very popular one. Of the, one this is one of their most popular scents that sells out all the time. Y'all, my house finna, my house finna smell like that. Yeah, it's about to smell like that. And then I got some hand sanitizer, the strawberry pound cake scent. These hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works are top tier. What you talking about? Your hands smell amazing. Yeah, go ahead and get you some. Okay, y'all. So I was supposed to go to Walmart today. It's a well. Um, besides them all but my package is coming like I told y'all and it literally took the entire time I hate when um like UPS is uh UPS or FedEx is delivering my package and they say from 
3.30 to 7. So it's like, damn. And then they talking about something. I had to sign for the package. I didn't even have to sign for the package. This man literally knocked on that door and left. But anyways, it's here. So I'm going to open it, but I'm not going to show you guys because that literally will be my vlog for next week for Halloween. I want to give y'all a hint, a little hint, hint. Let me know in the comments what y'all think I'm going to be for Halloween. Based off, I'm about to show y'all my shoe. Ooh, look at that. That is a pretty boot, honey. Yes. What y'all think I'm gonna be based off this shoe? Let me know. <laughs> so I just made my food for the night. Let me show y'all real quick what we got. We got some green, ooh, food just sliding. <laughs> it's um salmon and green beans and potatoes. Potatoes. Y'all. I put some uh, liquid smoke on my salmon before I put in the air fryer. If you have not tried that method, honey, and you like your stuff on the grill, you know what I'm saying, when it gets too cold to be outside grilling, I'm trying to tell y'all. I think I just gave y'all some secret sauce. Mm. Anywho, guys, so I wanted to talk about trucking a little bit. So, um, like I told you guys in my trucking update, Last week, I went to training with one of my fellow co-workers that is also a truck driver at the place I work at. And my manager wanted me to get, you know, just thorough training on the company side of things since I was working for an owner-operator with them before. So I got the training and now I'm just waiting for my truck to be done. I guess something had to get fixed on my truck. It's a newer truck, but I don't know. Something had to get fixed on it. So I called her yesterday. I called my... A dispatcher yesterday and asked her for an update and she said she called but they said they're waiting on a missing part y'all know how it can go with waiting on a part in my head i'm like oh my goodness please don't take a month to get this part and then because you know once they get the part then they got to fix it i'm just like oh my goodness so I'm praying and hoping that I can get rolling soon because I'm just ready to start making my trucking money again. And granted, I do have multiple streams of income going on. You know, y'all know I'm an entrepreneur as well. You know, I'm making money that way. But I miss my trucking money because I use my trucking money to fund my entrepreneur life. You know, it, it, it makes it go by so much quicker to fund things, you know what I'm saying, with my money. So I'm just super excited to get the ball rolling. I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying, tell y'all that because y'all know how it go when they do not have a part for the truck. And I'll tell them how long it's going to take for them to get that part. So I'm praying and hoping that it does not take that long. But I do love the job. It is super easy. I think out of everything I've ever done in trucking, containers is so simple and to the point, okay? And then... It's up to me how much money I make. Like, you leaving it up to me? Oh, baby, y'all gonna have to make, y'all gonna have to tell me to go home. <laughs> okay? Y'all gonna have to tell me to go home. Mm, mm, mm. This salmon, y'all. I'm about to put a little bit of sriracha on it, too. Y'all like sriracha? I do. It is so good. Even go good on, like, your eggs and everything. So good. But after I eat my food, you guys, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show y'all what TV show I'm watching right now. So good. Show that I've been watching got me hooked. Hooked, hooked. It's called Suits. I don't know if y'all ever heard of this show or not, but yeah, y'all, this is my show right here. I'll be watching the heck out of this show. It's like a really good storyline, too behind it so if y'all want to tune in if i just gave y'all a show to watch let me know if you end up watching it it's so good you a happy man look how happy he is y'all i got the nail off yay you happy boo boo huh? you happy sit 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 so he didn't bite me y'all but i got the nail off of his finger look the nail that was on his finger that was hanging off y'all and then finally, he just let me take it off. He didn't bite me or anything. That's my good man. You want to snack, yo? Yay! <laughs> he not limping no more either. Got on backwards so they can see you. Yeah.
Okay, I'm back from the store, y'all. So I got me some paper towels. Y'all, who else thinks that paper towels should be free? Paper towels should be free. <sighs> anyway, then I got some dog food. Got some queso chips. These are some of the best chips, y'all. I love these chips real bad. And I got me some grits. Um, I'm cooking brunch on Sunday. I'm gonna be watching the football game and um, I'm cooking brunch. So I went and got some stuff. Got my morning star, of course. And I got my sugar free syrup. We're gonna have some we're gonna have some catfish as well. So yeah. I'm gonna um I'm gonna fry it in the air fryer. I'm gonna coat it and put it in the air fryer. I got my eggs, of course. So yeah, I just picked up a few things from um from the store. So now Now I'm finna start doing my hair because I'm going to brunch with my girl. Daddy activating in three, two. Hey, I'm back, y'all. <laughs> I look so cute. This is a simple dress for brunch with my girl. My girl, la la. Hold on, let me check the bag, guys. Check the bag. Isn't it so cute? Yeah, I was gonna brunch. Let's go. They're gonna copyright it. Yes, they're gonna copyright it. We can only like do like a couple minutes. Wait, on what? On YouTube? TikTok. For real? I'm a swiper. Swiper, no, swiper. Swiper, no. Swiper. I swipe all day on TikTok, y'all. I promise y'all. And I'll be like, I'm gonna make some content. Let one funny video pop up. I'm not making shit. I'm not making nothing. I'm gonna sit there. You see that money coming in, you gonna start making something. Well, I don't know. Maybe God will fill my heart to start before I leave. Okay, so what would you rate the food? We had a, we had a, what is this, a vegan spot? Mm hmm. What did they say? Mo Better's Coffee Vegan and Vinyl. Yeah, we had Mo Better Brews. So this is my first time. She's been here I like a couple this. times. I had the, the Dila Donut. Yeah, the I already got the video oh. of our food. They seen it before you devoured it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, It was good. Um, I don't know. It was kind of like you said, it gives that really breakfast meat. Like, you know how sometimes when it's dinner time, you just want like a little taste yeah. of breakfast? Yeah. It's like all breakfast. All breakfast? Yeah, I think the, the donut button over the All right, but so what rating would you give it? I don't see Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say, I'd say a seven and a half. I like that iced tea in the fries. And the ketchup. I'll give it the eight out of 10. I got the cauliflower wings mm -hmm. and some truffle fries. The truffle fries is, um, you know, like them? They don't taste like real truffle fries. It's like, they like got too much stuff on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the cauliflower wings, I give it 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. So I give it a 9 out of 10 for my cauliflower and my drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, they're about to close y'all, so we about to get, we about to head out. Oh wait, no, because I told y'all I was going to ask you some questions about them tables, like, these bitches Yeah, hurry up. Trust me, I know how they feel, okay? Okay, here, no, we have. <laughs> okay, so, my friend is going to the Air Force. So first and foremost, I want to ask, what made you want to go to the Air Force? Like, my whole family is military background. Like, my mom died. All my uncles went, all my cousins went. My goddad is like, the top in the police force went. My cousin is one of those happening police force men. My grandpa, he went to the Air Force. And it's like, I would be the first girl on my mom's side to go, and my mom and my dad's side of the family, the first girl to go to like the military. You know, black at that, so you know, that's a plus. And then I chose the Air Force because my grandpa went to the Air Force and I did my research like on the other branches and my family members and uncles are in each branch, so they were just basically giving me the rundown, and I just went with the Air Force because it just makes more logical sense to me, to my preference. I don't want to offend anybody, mm -hmm. but I think that would be best for me, like based upon like my mental and my health, and like I feel like I would get a good outcome out of the Air Force than like joining any other branches. 
Professional. You do? Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I know how to talk better. And so, where where would they be placing you if you once you decide to go? So, for BMT, which is like boot camp, I would be going to Lafkin. So, what you gotta do that stuff where they um yeah pepper spray your face and all that? No, that's only if I do police force. Okay. So I would be going there for like nursing. Okay. So I would have to go to Lufkin, That's in San Antonio. Somebody said that you would be going to San Antonio. I'm like, I don't know, I'm asking. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go to San Antonio. And then after we have our ceremony, I gotta put you on the list for you to come for the ceremony. It's over here? No, it's gonna be San Antonio. No, I still come out here. I live in San Antonio. It's not that, it's not a hard part San Antonio. Like, two hours. It's not that far. Okay. I would be going there. And then after that, I was gonna do reserve, but I'm gonna go ahead and do active duty. Cause you know, why not? I don't really have nothing here back at home holding me back. I don't got no kids, no nothing. So I'm gonna just go active and travel and meet new people. So after BMT, I will go to tech school. Basically, they would teach me my MOS, which means like job. So I wanna do nursing. I'll probably be in there for like another six months. And then after tech school, that's when I would get my deployment. I think it's deployment first and then tech school or like flip. I'm not really too sure. I don't remember. But hopefully I don't get deployed anywhere crazy because I can get deployed from like Korea to Afghanistan mm -hmm. to you're like literally anywhere in the world. Anywhere? Oh my God. And it's like I could get deployed my whole contract. So imagine I get deployed to be in Korea for four years. Y'all, I'm gonna be so sad and depressed. And it's like, I can't just move away or like leave or quit because that's considered a wall. And you don't want to be a wall in the Like they treat you trash. Like it's basically it's homeless. Basically, like you gave up or something. Or something yeah, like, like you kind of ran away. And it's like I would just literally have to like become homeless and hide for the rest of my life. And yeah. you girl, literally, because okay. once they find you, it's a wrap. It's like yeah. Oh, during the Air Force and after you'll be fully covered like uh, payment wise, uh, health wise everything. Girl, so once you already in like BMT is it BMT? So during BMT, like if you don't get discharged or hurt or anything during BMT you're getting your like your two week paycheck so depending on what um, rank you in, so most likely I'll be going as the E1, which is like the bottom. Mm -hmm. If you go in like with an E3 or E5, you will get obviously more money while you're in BMT. And it's like once you get out of BMT, you will probably have like $5,000 just sitting in your bank account. Because when you're in BMT, they give you everything you need. Mm -hmm. You don't need to buy clothes, you don't need to buy food, like you don't need to buy nothing. Like just bring yourself like I'm pretty sure they have like hygiene stuff you can buy. Yeah. But you're not gonna need it because they give it to you. Um I'm pretty sure your benefits are working while you're in there already with BMT. Once you get to tech school, you know, you'll be getting more money and money based off like the MOS that you chose your job. Um if you decide to do active duty, after your tech school is up, you'll get deployed and you'll get even more money. Unless you want to come reserve. Reserve don't get as much money because, yeah. like, you were here. You came back home. But you still get a nice amount. And it's like, after that, I think to get, like, free full ride of college, the GI, the GI Bill, you have to do at least one year, one or two years of active duty. And then you can come reserve and come back home. So it just really depends, like what you want to do and like how long you want to stay in there and like how much money you will earn like but pertaining your rank yeah are you nervous yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course <laughs> so imagine like being a civilian your whole life being able to do whatever you want freedom of speech um to waking up at z1500 which is starting up 5 a.m. Every day. Getting screamed at, getting yelled at, taking showers with girls. You have like a four minute shower. Four minutes? Four minute shower. And it's just Ooh, like, baby, I it's kind of feeling. It's kind of like prison. But I don't want to <laughs> say it's prison. We're not going to say that. But it's more so like everything is restricted. Like everything is like, to, like, it's just different because you're going to be waking up in a space with like 50 females every single day for the next two months. 
different personalities. You gotta bathe from each other. You gotta eat what they tell you to eat. Like you can scream, yell, like you have to literally work out every morning, every day, all day. So it's like it's gonna be a big change. Like the yelling part, I don't really care because I got a black mama. <laughs> so I don't really care. We all used to being yelled at in our childhood. Exactly, childhood trauma. <laughs> so it's like at this point, <laughs> it's just more so like being away from home yeah. from my friends, like missing out on the stuff like I used to do. But I feel like this is like a good journey for me to start something new in life. And and you're young. Yeah. How, how long you think you're gonna be? And I'm only doing a four-year contract. Girl, bye. you still gonna be young. You from out of there. You ain't missing nothing. Exactly. It's a quick little whoop whoop, and then it is a quick little whoop whoop. You pay, yeah. And then that's a check for the rest of my life. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like for the rest of my life, y'all. Like, wait, you're you're not 20 yet, right? Mm. She's 19, y'all. Yeah. She's 19. I'm young, y'all. They don't she, damn, in four years, old. she'll be. There you go. And you got a baby face. There you go. In four Ooh. years, you'll be 23. Paid. Just think about it like that. Girl, you know, you like, Kiki, that's got to that's got to And then, like, you get a lot of benefits, like, with traveling, um, like, even with, like, if you have kids and stuff, mm -hmm. you get, like, half off with, like, helping with bills, and even if you get married, it's called BOA. B is it BOA or BOH? Yeah, BOH. And once you get married, you can go active duty, and they give you a free house. Everything's free. You just like basically have to live on base. So based off of like what house you choose and like where you want to stay in the areas that they give you, it's based off like how much money will be deducted out of your uh, check. So like it's free, but it's not free because they're gonna make sure like they take it out. But it's like I'm not planning on marrying nobody, so I'll probably just get a little apartment or something like <laughs> some cheap, unless you know. You don't ever want to get married. I do want to get married, but the person I want to get married to, I don't think he wants to get married. So it's like if I still stick and stay with him, yeah. I don't see me getting married no time soon unless, you know, I separate myself and explore the horizon. But I thought about it. Like, I do want a family, but uh, it's like right now my mind is set on that one dude. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what the future holds, right? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Uh, she scratched her head. That, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think like this generation today changes my mind on a lot of things. Okay. Even though I still have a positive mind about everything, about love, about marriage, everything. It's just that. Want him to take this? I can't. Yeah. Okay. I can't. I can't. I can't abide by today's rules when it comes to look how many people be getting divorced. People be getting married and divorced. I don't want that kind of stuff. Like if I get married, I'm trying to stay married. But yeah, y'all, so I thought y'all was going to answer some questions. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure, what did you say? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And that <coughs> oh, yeah, hold on. You're right, period. <laughs> Y'all want to know what's the best thing to do when you're in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.